And developing tonight at 11, we are continuing to learn more about the pending sale of the Transit Drive-In Movie Theater. Good evening, I'm Scott Levin. Mary Alice is off tonight. The Cohen family bought the Transit Drive-In back in 1957, but now it's time to pass the torch to someone else. Joining your side's Danielle Church shows us why the Drive-In will have new ownership and why you can expect an awful lot of the theater's nostalgia to stick around. Rick Cohen is the soon to be former owner of the Transit Drive-In, a business that has been in his family for three generations. Well, Rick tells me it's time to sell the business because he wants to go hiking. He wants to enjoy life after retirement. Rick started sale discussions with Dipson Theaters back in October. Michael Clement is the owner and president of the business. He and Rick actually went to Williamsville East High School together and to this day are still in the same social circles. Rick says it was about 10 to 15 years ago that Mike told him if he ever wanted to sell the drive-in, he'd be interested in buying it. Now the beloved theater will be Dipson's eighth location with six in Western New York and one theater in Pennsylvania. This will also be Dipson's first drive-in. When they buy something, it's, uh, you know, what they do with it is their business. However, you know, I chose them because they are in the theater business and this is a, this is a theater and uh, so I, I'd expect them to keep it operating as a theater. And that's exactly the plan. According to Mike's son, Jordan Clement, the new general manager of the drive-in. This is not going to change very much. No, if it isn't broke, we're not going to fix it. So we love the transit drive-in. We love what Rick Cohen has done with the place. Um, and we are not going to change a single thing. If anything, we will just make improvements as needed. Some of those improvements include fixing up the miniature golf course and playground. There will also be more menu items added at concessions. Dipson began managing the transit drive-in when it opened last month. Jordan says not only will they keep doing the concerts, but they're also thinking about adding a flea or farmer's market during the day. We're looking into all that stuff and hopefully we'll have some more news soon. Rick tells me that he expects the sale to close within the next one to two weeks. Reporting in Lockport, Danielle Church, Channel 2 News.